Hello, this is Mike from Windows 7 Forums. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can repair and fix your hard drive from within Windows. We are going to use the check disk command using physical surface scan in order to determine several things. We're going to determine if there is a problem with the file system, which is the system upon which all files are stored on the hard drive. And we are going to determine if there is a problem with the surface of the hard disk in the form of bad sectors. Bad sectors are in fact portions of the hard drive that have become no longer usable due to prolonged use, uh, being banged around if the computer has been banged around, or uh, from even electromagnetic interference, or simply from age, or too many rotations. So what we're going to do here is go to Start, we go to the Start menu, and we go to CMD. Now before we execute the command console, which is what this is, we don't want to run it straight away. So do not left click, right click, and go to run as administrator. You absolutely must run the software as an administrator because if you do not, you will not be able to execute the check disk command. Type in chkdsk forward slash f and forward slash r and press enter. And it's telling you that it can't do it because it's in use. Obviously when Windows is on it can't do this type of thing. So we say yes, we want to do this when the system restarts. <clears throat> the volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So we go ahead, we do not go to shutdown, but we do go to the tab here and click restart. And we're off to the races. We'll now restart the system and you'll see how the uh, file checking uh, takes place and we'll go through each step of that method. As you can see, Windows is starting up. However, you won't be booted into Windows this time. And here we have uh, the check disk that's inevitably going to take place. And we're being warned that uh, time is sort of running out. If we want to cancel, we hit any key, uh, but we're not. Here we go. It's now checking file records. This is part of the file system check, stage one file verification. As you can see, uh, no errors there. It's now checking indexes, right? Checking security descriptors. These are all part of the file system, the USN journal and the file data. It will actually now physically check the file data and this is by far the longest part. We'll skip ahead once the uh, file data check is complete. Once the check disk is completed we're thrust right back into Windows. What we want to do is check the results of the check disk which is something oftentimes people don't do. We go back to start, we go to the search menu again, we type COMP mgmt.msc and this will launch the computer management console and if we take a look we have a big menu here of stuff what we want to do is go to event viewer under event viewer we go to windows logs and under windows logs we go to application some people would be misled and think that it would be under system, but this actually is an application that has been run while Windows was uh, booting up. And it is under the source WinINIT, so Windows initial Initialization. And you click here, it's event 1001. And if we double click, we can see the results of our disk scan. We see that there were some cleaning here going on. So some file entries were cleaned up. 154 unused file entries were cleaned up on the file system. So there was a small amount of data cleaning that took place, but no real problems found, as you can see here. Windows has checked the file system and found no problems. Now, if Windows did find problems with the hard drive, specifically with the uh, bad sectors, it would actually go ahead and cordon off those bad sectors so that Windows wouldn't write to that area of the hard disk. It would also repair any kind of file system problems that were very extensive. Um, and it would probably prolong the life of your disk for some time. But it, 
as soon as you find bad sectors on your hard drive, it will definitely tell you in this log. And when that happens, you definitely want to start looking to replace your hard drive. You want to immediately back up your hard drive, start backing up everything, because now the hard drive has begun to fail. And you may want to start contacting the manufacturer of the drive. If not, you start looking into the possibility of a full replacement. Uh, and one of the best ways to do that is through a bare metal backup and restore. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it's been useful to you. You can now take this data that we've seen in the check disk log and export it out and send it to anyone you want. You can put it in a text file. But other than that, that's how you run a check disk. It's how you check for physical vulnerabilities on your hard drive as well as file system problems on your hard drive from within Windows.